So we're at the junction of Parliament Street and Brunswick Road in Gloucester, on the site of the Greyfriars redevelopment, where builders have uncovered part of the Roman city wall. Um, we were expecting to uncover these walls, so it was um, controlled and monitored by an archaeologist yesterday. They're briefly being exposed for now, but they're then going to be backfilled over later today. The walls are really massive and they, they date back 1,700 years. Uh, they're constructed out of very large Cotswold limestone blocks, which um, in this location are about 80 centimetres long, about 40 centimetres deep. Um, these blocks have all been quarried from the Cotswolds, from places like Painswick, uh, and then transported down to the city before being built into the wall. Uh, the wall's over 1.6 kilometres long and about 2 metres wide at the base. So it's a massive undertaking, especially when you imagine that this is uh, during the Roman period, people don't have heavy equipment, diggers and plant. The walls were constructed around the heart of the Roman city uh, about 1,800 years ago, but what survives today is a little bit later. We think it's about 1,700 years old. Um, these walls are actually defensive. We know there are, are towers built later on. There's an internal tower just nearby here, uh, which still survives below ground. Um, and they would have been absolutely massive. What survives now is only really a stub. This probably goes down for another half a metre, a metre, and we're at the base of the wall as was. We think the walls would have um, carried out two main functions. One is actually uh, symbolic. Um, Romans put great meaning on city walls. Uh, they have quite important religious and also legal um, elements to them. So if you're inside the walls, you're entitled to do certain things. Um, you're also entitled to certain privileges um, and so that's quite a desirable thing and uh, there's also a, a competition element having good quality city walls is is a, is a mark of status and, and social importance for Gloucester um, the Roman city of Sirencester isn't far away and they also had very impressive walls so I always think there's an element of keeping up with the Joneses there. As part of this development, these walls are going to be preserved in place. Um, what's happening at the moment is the builders are this afternoon going to pour concrete for this new build element here, where we were where I'm stood, you can see the, the foundations. Um, and then they're going to cover the wall up before they do that, so it's going to be completely protected. And then the ground level is going to be risen up again here. Uh, we expect to expose another part of the Roman city wall later on in part of this development as well. But the aim really is to keep it buried and keep it protected. 